Psalm 119, verse 113. I have actually been in Psalm 119 so long, I've wore that part of my Bible out. Psalm 119, verse 113. When you get there, if you're able, would you stand with me as we honor God and the reading of His Word? And the psalmist Daniel says, I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your instruction. You are my shelter and my shield. I put my hope in your word. Depart from me, you evil ones, so that I may obey my God's commands. Sustain me as you promised, and I will live. Do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Sustain me so that I can be safe and always be concerned about your statutes. You reject all who stray from your statutes, for their deceit is a lie. You remove all the wicked on earth as if they were dross. Therefore, I love your decrees. I tremble in all of you. I fear your judgments. May God add his blessing to the reading and now the preaching and teaching of his holy word for you to understand. May our Lord Jesus Christ forever be praised and all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. I have a bit of a confession to make. You'll find this hard to believe, but I'm different. I'm different, and I, you know, they say that the first step to recovery is admitting the problem. I'm different, but I'm different in good ways and in bad ways. I know I'm different in bad ways. I have got idiosyncrasies that are hard for people to deal with. I can be a bit of a control freak and OCD and uh, want things done a certain kind of way. And, uh, but many of you are the same way. You want things done a certain kind of way. And as long as your way and my way match up, we get along great. I'm different in bad ways, but I'm different in good ways too. And I hope that you too are different in some of these good ways. By the way, just so you're not off the hook, you're, you're different in some bad ways just like I am. I've learned them. Daniel, the writer of this psalm, was also different. Probably in good ways and bad ways, but specifically he was different from the people in Babylon that he was living around. He was different from the people that surrounded him. He was different from the general population. He was different even from many of the exiles who were his own people who had been sent to Babylon with him. Daniel was different in a good way. He was different in the way that God wanted him to be. He was different because he walked in the Word, and walking in the Word was the motivation for him being different. That is the how and why of Daniel's difference. In verse 113, I'm going to ask you to listen fast tonight, if you will. Will you listen fast? Okay. Verse 113, I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your instruction. Uh, before I, I do an, any explanation of the text, let me deal with this one little phrase. I hate the double-minded. When I read that or when you read that, something probably jumped into your mind, something about Jesus telling us not to hate, right? And Jesus telling us that if we hate somebody, that's committing murder in our heart. And here's the psalmist saying, I hate the double-minded. There is a different context and meaning of the word hate here. When Jesus talks about hatred, Jesus, Jesus is talking about the kind of hatred that says, I wish you were dead. When Jesus says that hatred is committing murder in your heart, that hatred is looking at somebody with such scorn and such anger that you wish they had never been born. You wish they were dead if they had been born. You want them dead. You're saying with your eyes. Y'all, do y'all have the drop dead look with your eyes? Drop dead. That's not the kind of hatred that the psalmist is talking about. He's talking about scorn for a person. He's talking about... Uh, not wanting to be around this person. What he's really setting up here is a kind of comparison. He says, 
I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your instruction. It's a contrast between these two things. He says, the difference between how I feel about those who are double-minded, those who speak one thing and do another thing, the way I feel about them and the way I feel about your word are as different as they can possibly be. The difference between hate and love. I'm not making that up. Look there again in the text. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your instructions. And so he said, not only do I love walking in your word, I love walking in your word so much that I want it to be a complete black and white contrast between how I feel about your word and how I feel about those who do not walk in your word. He's saying at the very beginning, I want to be different. I want to be different from those who are not walking in your word. I want to be different from those who speak one thing and do another thing. I want to be different from those who surround me. I want to be different from the world in which I live. I want to be different in my walk in the word. Difference. He sets up these differences. He says, I want a different kind. Verse 114. Well, let's just read verse 114 then. He says, you are my shelter and my shield. I put my hope in in your word. He says, I want a different kind of shelter. That's his provision. And I want a different kind of shield. That's his protection. As David said in Psalm 20, some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. The difference that Daniel is setting up here is a difference on where his trust is. He saw the people around him who were trusting in everything except God for the provision of their life. He says, my shelter is from the Lord. The provisions that I need, the roof over my head, the clothes on my back, the food in my stomach, all of these things I am depending upon God for. I'm different because I have a different shelter, a different provision for life. And he says, I'm also different because I have a different shield. My protection is different. When David spoke in Psalm 20 about those who trust in chariots and horses, he well understood that difference because he had seen, David had seen, we're jumping Psalms here in Psalm 20, David had seen greater armies, he had seen the more mighty army, the army with the more horses, the army with the more people, the army with the more shields and spears and arrows and chariots and marksmen and all these things. He had seen time and time again armies of greater strength fall to armies of lesser strength. So he knew that you do not place your trust in horses and chariots. You place your trust in the name of the Lord our God. The psalmist Daniel says, you are my shelter, you are my shield. It echoes again what David said in Psalm 27. That the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You see, folks, that's what walking in the Word does for you. You're different, but different in a good way. A different shelter, that's your provision. A different shield, that's your protection. Psalm number one, I mean, verse number 115 He says, depart from me, you evil ones, so that I may obey my God's command. He had, there was a necessity of being different. The necessary thing of being different is getting away from those that would drag you down. Listen to me very carefully. There are people that you need to get away from because they're going to drag you down. Do you hear me? I'm not saying you stop loving those people. I'm not saying you stop praying for those people. I'm not saying any of those things. But I'm telling you something. There are some people that you cannot be around because they're going to drag you down. If you are different, you're going to have to get away. Look what he says. He's basically saying, shoo, get away from me. Depart from me, you evil ones, so that I may obey my God's command. He's saying, I'm going to be different. I'm going to be different in a good way, and I'm going to be different. So I'm going to get away from you. Depart from me, you evildoers. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. 
tells us, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. There are some people that you need to get away from. What your mama told you is true. If you lie down with dogs, you'll wake up with... There you go. Depart from me, you evil doers. But just as, in, as important as it is to get away from those who will drag you down, you don't need to be a hermit. You need to get around those who will pick you up. You see, you need those who will raise you up, who will increase your accountability to God. Do you know the kind of people, if you're going to walk in the Word, and you're going to be different in a good kind of way, and you're going to be different for God, the kind of people that you need to be around are people that are walking in the Word too. And you can tell pretty easily, you can tell pretty quickly. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. I think we can say the opposite of that is true as well. Good company enhances good character. That is a necessity of being different. A different necessity, a different concern. Look at verses 116 and 117. Sustain me, he's praying here, sustain me as you promised and I will live. Do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Sustain me so that I can be saved. And always be concerned about your statutes. He had a different concern. Folks, if you're walking in the Word instead of walking in the world, you're going to have some differences. One of the differences that you're going to have is what you're concerned about. Do you realize that the concerns of our, the concerns of our contemporary society are so vain The concerns of the society that we live in are so petty, so little, so insignificant. Insignificant things have so much emphasis put on them. Insignificant things have so much money spent on them. Things that don't matter are made to matter by our media, by the news, by the entertainment industry, by the songs on the radio. Things that don't matter are blown up into things that matter, and things that matter are ignored. Futile, vain, petty, sometimes downright wicked things. But the psalmist... Walking in the Word had a different kind of concern. Folks, if you're walking in the Word, and if you are the good kind of different, the things that concern you will be the things that you know God is concerned with. Hello. You can tell the strength of your walk in the Word by looking at the things that you concern yourself with. If you're walking in the Word, your concerns will be different. They will not be what so-and-so might think about me if I do or say, don't do or don't say this. What are they going to think? If you're walking in the Word, that's not your concern because you're not living for them, you're living for God. If you're walking in the Word, your concern will not be, will I be made fun of or not? Will I be uh, excluded from the in crowd or not? Will I be uh, not invited to the happening place or not? If you're walking in the Word, that's not your concern. Your concern is with what concerns God. If you're walking in the Word, your concern will not be what will make me look good, what will raise me up, what will put me on a pedestal, what will make me get a pat on the back, what will make me get a good mention across someone's lips. No, if you're walking in the Word, your concern will be what does the Bible say and what Does God want? Be different. Different by walking in the Word. And you see, folks, it all comes down to this. If you are the good kind of different, have I explained this in the the right way or not? There's a bad kind of different where you're just weird. I have seen some weird Christians... They love Jesus, they're going to heaven, I love them, but they're weird. I'm not talking about the bad kind of different, I'm talking about the good kind of different. The reason that being the good kind of different is so important is because you have a different future. The future is different for you 
than for them. Last week in the morning sermon, I talked about the impending apocalypse and the great and terrible judgments that are coming upon the earth. The seven seals containing the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The four trumpet, I mean the seven judgments, trumpet judgments, the seven bowls of God's wrath. Great and awful, terrible things that are going to come upon the earth. People crying out to the mountains, fall on me and kill me and end my agony. People trying to end their life from the agony and yet not even being able to die in their agony. Great and awful things that are coming upon the earth. Being different by walking in the Word, being different by walking with God means you've got a different future than the future I just described. Look in verse 118. The psalmist says about God, You reject all who stray from your statutes, from the, for their deceit is a lie. You remove all the wicked on earth as if they were dross. Therefore I love your decrees, I tremble in all of you. I fear your judgments. A different future. A different future that is also described in the Psalms. In Psalm 1, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor uh, sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is on the law of the Lord, and on it he does meditate day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of living water, whose fruit is yielded in its season and whose leaf does not wither. And then the psalmist David says in Psalm 1, But not so the wicked. They are like the chaff, which is scattered on the wind. They, therefore the wicked will not be able to stand up on the day of judgment. A day of judgment will come. The psalmist David speaks of it. The psalmist Daniel speaks of it. You reject those who stray from your statutes, you will remove all the wicked on the earth. I'm going to read that about three times. You will remove all the wicked on the earth. You remove all the wicked on the earth as if they were dross. God will come with thousands upon ten thousands of His angels and exact His righteous judgment On the earth. And you see here in the Old Testament, even in the Psalms, what he will do. You remove all the wicked on the earth. That day will come. And I pray God that you're the good kind of different. That you have a different kind of future. Be different. Different as the psalmist says. Different in a good way. Different from those who surround you who are wicked, who are double-minded, who are vain, who are concerned with the concerns of this world and not walking in the Word. You may be different, folks, but God will vindicate your difference. Young people, walk in the Word. Even if everybody else is walking the other way, you keep walking in the Word. Grown-ups, adults, at your workplace, at your place of leisure... Be different. Let people see the difference in you. Want to know what is different about you. And then you be able to share what makes you different. And folks, what makes you different is that you have had a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. That's how you're different. Walk in the Word. Heavenly Father, I pray tonight that I pray, dear Lord, that we will be the good kind of different. I pray that we won't be weird and turn people off, but I pray that people will see the sincerity of our walk in the Word, and they will realize how important it is, and they will follow that walk. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.